Okay, welcome to the third part of this three video series on adding integers. So the first two methods that we looked at uh, dealt with sort of visual representations of adding integers. In this third video, I want to show you the more abstract way where you're just using a piece of uh, paper and a pencil and uh, kind of just going straight for the answer. So this is what I do in my head when I add integers and hopefully that this is something that you can do in your head as well by the end of the video or at least after a fair amount of practice. So uh, the the method looks something like this. So um, uh, the first time we do this method I'm, uh, I'm actually going to draw a number line for us just so we have something to sort of lean back on to sort of to, you know support our, our understanding uh, the first time through but uh, after that, we're going to do it without any visuals, uh, and we're just sort of going to walk ourselves through it. So um, uh, let's say that I've, I've, uh, I've, I've actually got a number line for this one. So here's my number line. I'm not going to make it super accurate. I'm just sort of going to eyeball it, because that's sort of uh, how this method works. So I'm going to start off by putting 0 right in, in the number line. It's, it's usually important to have 0 in your number line, especially when you're dealing with positives and negatives. But the idea is this. So I, I, I think about uh, positive 4, and I think about um, you know its general size, right? So you know positive 4 could could be around there. And then I think uh, about okay, well, what about um, uh, the the negative 5? Well, if you put negative 5 on here, I don't I don't know exactly how big it is, but I do know that it went in the opposite direction. And I also know that it's a little bit bigger than positive 4. So I know that it that my answer is definitely going to be negative. I know that without even really having to, you know, do any sort of hopscotch on the number line or, uh, you know, actually measure anything out, um, I just know that because they're going to go in opposite directions. One is going to go to the right and one is going to go to the left. And the, the one that is going to the left is longer than the one that goes to the right. Therefore, we're going to end up left of zero on the number line. So I know right off the hop that my number is going to be negative. Now, the, the trick is to figure out, well, what is that, uh, that value? What's the absolute value of my answer? Well, take a look at this. So um, here's my two arrows, right? Or actually, I'm going to use um, a different color. How about blue? So here's my two arrows. And really what we're trying to do is we're trying to see um, what is the length of this leftover arrow. Well, I know that these two lengths are going to be the same. Everything to the right of zero cancels itself out. So that means that they are the same length, right? So all that's left is what happens when you take this first number and chop off the, uh, sorry, the, when you take the, the negative 5 and you chop off that 4. So in other words, uh, the, the number over here that's left is going to have the value of 5 minus 4, uh, which I hope that we all know is just 1. So this is going to be negative 1. Okay, that's, that's the gist of uh, this method, is to think about which number has a larger value. In this case, 5 has the larger value. And you say, okay, well, between those two numbers that, uh, you know, the one that has the larger value will will carry the sign over. So this sign, the sign of this number is, if you remember that word, that that's, means if it's positive or negative. So that's the sign. So since the negative 5 is a larger value, um, so 5 has a, a, a negative 5 has a, an absolute value of 5, positive 4 has an absolute value of 4. So that means that the absolute value of five, negative 5 is bigger. So this is the sort of quote unquote bigger of the two numbers, even though 4 is greater than negative 5, but the, the value is a little bit bigger. Uh, anyways, what I'm trying to say is that uh, we, we take a look at those, and whichever one has a larger value, we take that sign in the answer. And then, because we know that these two numbers are going in opposite directions, they're going to be sort of fighting against each other, we do a subtraction. So we subtract those two values. So um, I'm going to do it again, but this time I'm not going to draw a number line. I just want to do it uh, without any aids at all. Okay, we're going to answer this question without any visual aids at all. 
all we're going to do is ask ourselves two questions. The questions are, which number has the greater absolute value? Well, in this case, it's negative 9, because the absolute value of negative 9 is just 9. The absolute value of positive 4 is 4, so negative 9 has the greater absolute value. So this tells us the sign. So this is the sign. So this tells us the sign, and that should be negative. So starting off, before we even know anything about you know, how big the number is, uh, we can tell that that is going to be a negative number. Okay, the next question that we ask is, well, uh, if the signs are different, I guess it's not really a question, but bear with me. If the signs are different, we subtract the absolute values. So uh, in, in this case, the signs are different, right? We have a positive sign and a negative sign. So if, uh, if they're different, then what we do is we subtract those two values. So um, 9 is a greater of the numbers, so I, I am going to find the difference. So that will be 9 minus 4. 9 minus 4 is equal to 5. Oops, let me do that in red. Okay, so 9 minus 4 is 5. And that's it. That's all there is to it. I just asked two questions. Which number has the greater absolute value? Well, the negative number did. And if the signs are different, yeah, the signs are different. Uh, what's the difference between the, the, the absolute values? Well, the difference of 9 and 4 is 5. That's it. So I'm gonna... Okay, we're going to bang off four quick examples. Uh, here they are. We've got 4 plus negative 2, negative 3 plus 5. We've got positive 2 plus positive 3. We've got negative 4 plus negative 5. So let's, uh, let's do the first one really quick. So I ask myself, well, which uh, of these two integers has the, the largest absolute value? Well, that's 4, so that means my answer is going to be positive because we've got positive 4. And then, <clears throat> well, I look at the signs now and say, are the signs different? Yes, they are. The signs are different. So that tells me that uh, I'm going to do a subtraction, so I need to find the difference between 4 and 2. The difference between 4 and 2? Well, that's 2. 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. Okay, moving right along. So you, you can see how quick that is. When you do it this way, it's, it's quite quick. Um, let's do the next one. Okay, so I've got the two integers, negative 3 and 5. Okay, which one is greater, uh, 3 or 5? Five is so that means that uh, since five is greater than two, I carry that sign, so that's a positive. And uh, well, are the signs different? Yes, I've got a negative and a positive. They have different signs, so that means uh, yeah, I'm going to find the difference of three and five. Well, five minus three is equal to two. So oh, there's another one that's equal to two. Um, okay, let's take a look at this next one. Okay, which of these numbers has the greater uh, value well, uh, well, three does. So that's the the greater of the absolute values. So that tells us that we have a positive number. And uh, well, oh, hold on a second. Are the uh, signs different? No, they're not. They're not. Which tells us instead of um, doing a subtraction, that means that we add them. So we add those values. So uh, because they're going in the same direction on the number line, uh, they're kind of sort of rooting for each other, so they're, they're both going to add something. Um, so uh, this is going to be 2 plus 3, which is 5, which makes sense. Positive 2 plus positive 3, that's just 2 plus 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. And the last one, so now I say, okay, well, which one of these uh, is the uh, has a greater absolute value? That's negative 5. 5 is more than 4, right? So that means that uh, our answer is going to be negative. And, uh, well, again, I ask myself, do these have different signs? No, they don't. These signs are the same. So that means I do addition. So 4 plus 5 is 9. The answer is negative 9. I mean, that's all there is to it. You can see that I did four examples very quickly using this method. And these are all the different problem types. So uh, I hope you learned something. And, uh, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a, a, a blast uh, teaching this to you. <laughs> okay. I don't know if that was. Bye-bye.